Well, as you can see, I've had a bit of an accident in here with an oil spill. My uh, drums were sitting up on um, a support and due to the windy and stormy weather we've had here, overnight they've fallen down and the tops come off. Subsequently, I've got uh, quite a bit of an oil spill going here. This is only vegetable oil, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to clean up than engine oil, which is uh, one of the reasons I prefer to use it. Well, I thought I'd may as well make uh, the best of a bad situation, and I'll show you how to clean this up. Uh, the one thing with oil is if you do use it, sooner or later you will have a spill of whatever size it might be, and you'll be in a similar situation. So. I'll give you an idea how to clean this up and you can also see the before and after. My preferred cleanup chemical is the good old caustic soda. It comes under a few different names and this is just um, packaged as a drain cleaner type stuff. I do buy it from time to time from chemical supply stores, people that do cleaning products. It's a bit cheaper. Uh, but I haven't had the need for it for a while, so I've just luckily got this uh, particular tin of it on hand, and that's what I'm going to use. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, wet down the spill with the hose, I'll sprinkle this stuff around, broom it over, let it sit a while, and then wash it off, and I should be all good. As well as this, you can also use, this is, um, I believe, uh, potassium hydroxide you can also use sodium hydroxide KOH and NaOH either one of them do an equally good job and it's just whatever one is cheapest I think from memory uh, here sodium hydroxide is cheaper so just go uh, with whichever one they both do the same thing The first step to this is just get the old garden hose and just give it a light wetting down. The, um, the caustic won't take directly to the oil, it needs water to react with. So basically you just put a layer of water over the top without making the uh, pooled stuff run too much and that'll give the caustic something to react with and then I'll just broom it over. Then all I do is get the caustic and just give it a bit of a sprinkle. I'll probably use most of what I got for this, but you know, just, just put a bit of a layer over it and you're good to go from there. I've had a lot of comments from safety zealots and those that got a proclivity to protect the terminally stupid because in my videos I don't wear gloves, fire and bomb proof suits and all other matter of over the top personal protection equipment. 
To show what a sensitive and caring sort of guy I am, and to add viewer appeal and cut down on the number of stupid and blatantly obviously comments from those that watch these videos, even though they will never do anything that I show themselves, I thought I'd put a helpful safety tip in each and every one of my videos from now on. I realise klutz is in the inept of people too, so for those that think personal responsibility is someone else's job, hopefully these will be helpful. Now, I can't cover or conceive the full depth of stupidity some may go to, so I missed something out because it's beyond my comprehension of how someone could be that brain dead. Please don't complain to me. Take the credit for how clever you are to think of it yourself and put that warning on your own videos on your own channel. Today's safety tip relates to something I've shown in this vid, which is the caustic soda. This stuff is highly alkaline and as such, you must not use it in your tea or coffee as an artificial sweetener or dairy creamer. You should also not use it on your breakfast cereal. This stuff will seriously fuck you up if you're idiotic enough to consume it and if you're the inept type of guy that goes to do something stupid with it, leave it on the supermarket shelf and tell your husband to get it and show him how to use it as on this video while you're in the comfort and safety of your nearest mental facility. This helpful safety tip is brought to you by the caring author of the oil burning channel giving proper and rightful consideration to our safety zealot and more on viewers the world over All you need to do with this is just go over it now and then, um, keep it moving around. I'm not scrubbing really hard, I'm just basically keeping the area wet and spreading the, um, the caustic around. <coughs> now guys, I've got to tell you, there is a real potential problem with doing this. You'll probably see when you do it that it cleans your concrete cleaner than all the rest of it. What's going to happen there is the missus is going to come out, look, and then she's going to say, why didn't you do the rest? So rather than doing one little patch where you made a mess and cleaned it up hoping not to get in trouble, you're going to have uh, more trouble because she's going to want you to do the whole damn driveway. So if you try this, uh, be careful and make sure you've got plenty of caustic on hand because you might be just getting into more than what you figured on. Okay, so that's been sitting there about 15 minutes. I've just given it another broom over, so now I'm gonna wash it off and see what we got. I've washed all the caustic off now. I can see already it's uh, a hell of a lot cleaner than when I first spilt the oil. And on that dark patch there, which was the baked on engine oil, I'm surprised how much of that has actually come off. Actually, that was quite thick and it's lifted up quite well. So now I'll uh, just give it a while to dry. I'll leave the camera here a bit, uh, come back maybe in an hour or so when it has dried off and you can uh, see how it looks. Okay, so a bit of time has passed and you can see how the path has dried off. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, mark there where it's not quite dry yet, but as you can see all the uh, oil that covered that whole section has uh, now been cleaned off 
and the driveway is actually a heck of a lot cleaner than when I started. As I said, be careful with this, because once the missus sees it, she'll be wanting you to do every piece of concrete in your place. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to clean this up. Uh, if you do have a spill, it's not the end of the world. Uh, vegetable oil is a lot easier to get up than engine oil. It does stain a lot less. But uh, don't forget, if you have to, you can always reapply the oil, uh, the caustic rather, after a while. And the more you do it, the, uh, the, the cleaner you get. It is also quite effective at lifting out stains if it has been there a while. So hopefully you uh, find that helpful. And if you do have a spill, or I should say when you have a spill, as most people certainly will do, uh, that's an easy and uh, effective way of cleaning it up. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, click the like button and stay tuned for more vids. Thanks for watching.